Hi, uh, this is Boyan from UC Santa Barbara. Today I'm going to talk about Palin, a runtime system for efficient video processing throughout the dynamic class queue. Uh, nowadays we have many continuous video streams to process. So, so we have a CN based video processing system. It uses CNs with high accuracy. However, it also introduces intensive resource consumption such as energy and latency. We usually want to deploy these video processing systems on mobile platforms, such as mobile phones, smart glasses, and, ro and robotics. However, uh, these mobile platforms usually have limited resources. Our goal is to develop a video processing system on mobile platforms with high accuracy, low latency, and low energy consumption. In this paper, we explore a type of temporal locality called class queue. Class queue means that a small number of classes keep appearing in a large number of consecutive frames. Suppose we have this bare video. There is the same bare across frames. Given this class queue information, it is also easy to, to recognize the bare in this frame. However, it might not be that easy to recognize the object in this frame. Actually, it is a beaver. Intuitively, we see that there are class queues in videos. Also, this class queue information helps us to recognize objects. We want to explore this class queue information to accelerate uh, video processing on mobile platforms. Uh, we characterize class queues with two types of information. The first type is class cardinality. Class cardinality refers to the number of classes in a class queue. Intuitively, from a general scene for recognizing thousands of classes, we can generate a specialized scene to only recognize a small number of classes in the current class queue. The second type of information is visual separability. Suppose we want to classify these four types of objects. It is quite easy. However, if we want to classify these four types of cats, it is much harder. Visual separability means that under the same class cardinality, one class skill is easy to classify and the other one is hard. Intuitively, we can use a more compact model when the class view is easier to classify. Uh, well, class view may be used in, uh, to build an efficient video processing system on mobile platforms. There are several challenges. First, uh, how, can, how to precisely capture class views? Uh, actually, new class views appear and disappear suddenly as time goes. A class queue may last for minutes or even hours, but this lasting time varies across videos and scenarios. The second challenge is how to efficiently adapt scenes during runtime. Actually, we do not know uh, class queues in an uh, online video before we see this video. Uh, also, it is hard to offline train compact models for each class queue due to the huge number of class queues. Meanwhile, existing model adaptation are computation intensive and are not affordable on mobile platforms. The third challenge is that uh, how to export visual separability and efficiently select scenes. Uh, a single model adapted to different class skills shows significantly different accuracy. Also, uh, model selection on mobile platforms may introduce high overhead. To this end, we build Palin, a runtime system for efficient video processing. Palin uses the same model to recognize a sequence of video, video frames. These scenes pre and predictions are fed into ABLE to abstract cascades from video streams. Then, Bayesian filter adapts scenes towards the detected cascade during runtime. 
They also have the ability of their model selection to further squeeze system energy consumption. Now let's first talk about ABLE. Uh, there are two goals of ABLE. The first goal is to give a precise class skew profile in static regions between adjacent class skew switches. The second goal is to detect when the class skew switches occur. In a static class skew profile, we approximate the class skew in each static region with an empirical distribution. For example, suppose we have a sequence of predictions, E, D, E, F, and so on. We can count the frequency of each label and compute the class skew profile as the probability of each label. Here we note that using more predictions for estimation can improve the quality of class skew profile. However, this also takes more time and reduces the benefit from exporting class skews. To this end, we propose early optimization by selecting a minimal number of frames for balancing the class skew profile quality and the number of predictions in use. Please refer to our paper for mathematical details. The second technique in ABLE is a dynamic class skew switch detection. We estimate the probability of class skew switch at each time step by considering the joint probability of the last in time and the predicted label. We also consider the probability that a class skew of length rt-1 is still alive at rt and the detected class skew distribution. Furthermore, we reduce the detection overhead by a window sampling that considers a subset of time windows and reuse computation in adjacent time windows. Uh, now let's talk about the second component in Pairing, Bayesian filter. There are two goals of Bayesian filter. Uh, first, we want to efficiently adapt things towards the detected class skew during runtime. We also want to allow adaptive students to recognize classes out of the current class skill profile. The first technique is a rescaling mode. Intuitively, we update the probability of each prediction based on both the current CSP and the predicted probability. In particular, given the profiled probability of class I in the current class skill profiling, and the same predictive probability that an image comes from data class I. We generate the posterior probability. The second technique is a direct pass mode. We observe that when a model makes a prediction with high probability, this prediction tends to be correct. In this case, our strategy is to select the original scene prediction without rescaling when the predicted probability is higher than a preselected threshold. Formally, we formulate our Bayesian filter with the following formula. Now, uh, let's talk about the third component in Pairing, the separability of variable model selection. Remember that we discussed visual separability earlier. Even with the same number of classes, one group of classes is easy to classify while the other one is harder. Our key observation is that the same model on the different class skew profile may have significantly different accuracy, even with the same number of classes. Our strategy is to maintain a set of models with different accuracy and energy consumption. Then we automatically switch to contact models for saving energy when the detected class skew profile is easy to classify. In particular, uh, the, our first strategy is an efficient online model selection. Uh, we, uh, we, have, we conduct the model selection on the cloud for only class skews detected during runtime. 
on the cloud, we profile seeing accurate for the detected class view profile. Also, we use binary search for acceleration. Uh, we also have a uh, we also propose a cache service to avoid redundant model selection, since the same CSP may appear uh, repeatedly in the same video. Actually, we, rec we record the model selection results along with the classical profile. This gives the model selection for a classical profile that have appeared previously. The second strategy is a is an edge cloud duplicated model bank. Uh, we generate our model bank uh, with offline profiling. Uh, once we have done this offline profiling, we select only models on the party optimal curve. So we have a smaller search space during online uh, and reduce the uh, effort uh, during runtime. Uh, this procedure is conducted once on all class queue profiles and we keep the top key best to reduce the online overhead. We also have a uh, edge cloud duplication to reduce network overhead. We maintain a duplicated model bank on both the edge and the cloud. The cloud selecting model and only sends the index of the selected model to the edge, so we can minimize the network overhead. Uh, we evaluate uh, pairing with four real-world videos. These videos have lengths from 6 to 24 minutes, 8 to 45 class view switches. In each class view, we have 2 to 3.5 classes on average. We use the NVIDIA Jetson Nano as the edge device and a Dell workstation as the cloud server. Comparing with baseline approaches, we see that pairing can increase the accuracy, achieve speed up, and save energy. We also show more studies with synthesized videos. This picture shows the accuracy improvement in an ideal case that class view is known and fixed. We see that piling improves the accuracy by a large margin. This picture shows the energy saving on synthesized class views with diverse lasting time. Larger lambda here indicates longer lasting time. We see that piling brings more energy saving when the class view lasts longer. That's all for my presentation. Thanks for your attention.